Hi everyone, welcome back to our Growing Together mini-series. Antonia just woke up getting ready for school and she has a loose tooth for the first time. She should expect to lose it soon. I hope that that losing teeth glitch has been fixed because I am a little bit scared. But let's see what everyone else is up to. I think that everyone is having breakfast, everyone is getting ready for work or school. And today is actually Jenny's birthday so we'll be celebrating that as well once everyone is back. Well everyone finished eating and I realized that we actually haven't really opened presents last time so let's go and open presents because it is I think a day after Winterfest and we never had a chance to even open these so before everyone has to go to school and stuff we'll be opening these presents I think that the toddlers are first and it's gonna take a while for them to get there so who is opening their presents first oh it looks like it's gonna be David well it was his birthday recently as well he got a little penguin TV oh that's so cute and Jenny has to go to school oh luckily she's opening her present just now she got herself some games. That's that's pretty decent. I don't really mind that that much, but you have to go to school now. And who is opening their presents next? Oh, Antonia didn't get a chance to open her presents because she's going to school. Well then, oh, oh my gosh, David is aggressive. He just bit Anthony. Did you see that? That is so mean, David. I was going to say, Anthony, let's have you open your present and then I'm going to have to send both of you to preschool. So David, little aggressive David, let's send you off to preschool so you don't bite Anthony again. Hopefully he will be cheered up by his present. And he got an action figure, that's cute. So let's send you off to school as well. Oh, it looks like Hazel actually has a day off or something, is it? She does. So let's give Maddie some attention because she's just, oh, she's just being awful in the bathroom. No. I sent these two on a jog because I think it's been a while since Hazel actually took Maddie on the jog. But I just got a notification that it's Jenny's birthday. So luckily, actually, it is Hazel's day off so she can prepare a cake and everything. Wow, this was a long jog. It's almost already 3 p.m. and she's so stinky. Let me have you clean yourself up and everything and then we need to make a cake for Jenny's birthday because ideally we'd like to go somewhere for her birthday not just be in the house as always. Oh, Antonia wants to invite Madison over. That's probably one of her new friends. Absolutely. Oh, wait a minute. Jenny, she wants to invite Imran over. Isn't she done with Imran? That situation is so weird. Is she giving him a second chance? Like, what? Is he requesting to see his child? child. I'm so confused on so many levels. And David is back from a preschool. So did Jenny bring him back to see Imran again? Here is Imran. Oh, and David is refusing a hug. Things are getting so weird. And we have this entire separation menu and they can immediately discuss the children's future, which is something they definitely should be doing. So let's just start with that while David is just chilling here with Anthony. So let's see if Imran has anything to say about that. I'll maybe apologize because it's kind of both of yours fault. It's not just his fault. She did kind of surprise him with the news of David. It's a really huge deal. So let's see if he will take that apology. It looks like he did take it. I'm just gonna have them go sit inside. Oh and Hazel just finished Jenny's cake. Right? It's her birthday. Well the timing of this is super unfortunate but this situation is just so intense. I'm gonna have Jenny go talk to Imran some more while their son is just existing there. I can't believe that he's doing this on her birthday as well but what else can we do? She can try to attempt some peaceful discussions about their issues. Maybe try to say something nice about him. They should be at the very least in good terms for David's sake. Oh but she's very angry around him. Grow up from discussing relationship problems. This discussion sounded more like Jenny's partner making veiled accusations than a true humble open-hearted talk. Oh Oh, it's it's not going well then is it just ask him to be friends because it's not working out oh but he actually stood up to go talk to David I'm gonna use this opportunity up for sure so David can actually spend some time with his father that is huge it is already 6 p.m though so I should be working on Jenny's birthday but this is like really important his father is actually interacting with him I never thought we would see this and it's totally happening and he is just going to buy him now oh my gosh I love that so much and of course they have a difficult family dynamic. That honestly makes so much sense. When it comes to authority, some younger sims just do not know how to respect their elders and it's certainly looking that way between David and Imran. Family members with a difficult family dynamic will be mean to each other more often. The younger sim will be less likely to follow the rules or demands of the older sim and the younger sim will complain to the older sim more often. I'm absolutely going to agree to that because it just makes so much sense. Look at Jenny just so mad in the background. He 
was just about ready to leave though. I saw that. Maybe just bite him one more time before he leaves. He is very angry. It's an unpleasant conversation. I don't want to make him hate David, but honestly, he deserves it so much. So just like one last bite and then we can go celebrate Jenny's birthday. Since she's not really a big fan of Imran at this point anyway, she would probably be really amused to see this. So I'm going to take this as Jenny's little birthday gift. So let's just see that one more time. There we go. All right. Well, Imran, you could just go home now. And if you want to... Oh, we could do like a rough house play. I don't think he, he would really want to do that. So let's just send him off. So Imran is going to be going very, very angrily. But everyone in the house seems to be ready for going out. So let's just go. And I was thinking to maybe have Hazel's birthday at the rec center because we haven't really been there yet. So we're all here. And since Antonia was hanging out with one of her friends, I might as well start her gathering here so they can just do whatever they want to. But let's waste no time and have Jenny blow out her candles before she ages up on her own and while everyone is still here. So Jenny is about to become a young adult already. I feel like that, that went by so quickly. Well, to be fair, I don't know how into her teen years she was when she moved in. So maybe she was quite up there already. But anyway, I'm just going to be randomizing her last trait because she is none of my business. So she is going to be a selfish dance machine who is hating children. Oh no, I'm going to randomize this one more time just for David's sake because this is really bad and this is really not Jenny. She is a really good parent so let's just do that one more time. All right, she's gonna love the outdoors. Sure, I never really saw it for her but all right. And for her aspiration, I can just do like uh, creativity, maybe maybe music because she's into dancing and stuff. Oh, and she graduated with honors? No way. I didn't think that she was really that good at school so good for her. So everyone is having some cake together. Oh, that's so sweet. I really, really love it. But while we are still in this lot, I would really like for Antonia to go to this little water park with her friends because it is still really warm. It's 9 p.m. but it's really sunny and it's really warm and it's oh it's the last day of winter. I was gonna say it looks like it's summer. No I just I just don't see this. So here is Antonia in the water park and she's actually gonna be playing with stuff. It might be a little bit late because it's already 10 p.m. Oh are you just not gonna be changing into like your well why would you change into her swimsuit? That's kind of like what I expected. I don't know why but this is a little bit more reasonable. It's so cute though. I wish she could do this with her friends because I think that uh, everyone else is just doing their homework. Oh, please don't pee yourself. I know that it's a water park, but it's not that type of water, please. Oh no, don't pee on the whale, please. Your friends are coming over even. Please don't do that in, in front of everyone. You know what? There's a toilet right here. Just go use it because I'm just getting so worried. Never mind. She has other priorities. All right. I'm just going to let that happen because it's really, really cute. And how's your tooth doing? You are still in some pain. Two hours left. Does that mean it's going to fall out by itself? I guess we'll see. Oh, but this is so sweet. Anthony loves books. I guess Hazel was reading to him. He seems particularly fond of books. That is so, so cute. He is having a bit of a tantrum though. I think that he is super tired. So we should be going home. Oh yeah, it's much later than I expected. So let's just put these two to bed like immediately. Oh, you know what? Since Anthony loves books, let's have him be read to sleep. Oh, that's adorable. That's so precious. I really like that he likes books. I never saw that quirk before. It's really adorable. Oh, we totally missed it. That Antonia lost her first tooth. Oh no, I didn't see it. Luckily, she didn't like glitch out or anything. I was really concerned about that. But can I like see your tooth missing? That is so cute. That's so funny. I love it. Antonia lost her loose tooth. She can wait a while for a new tooth to appear or elect to fix missing tooth. But anyway, it's quite late. Now that's over. We can just put you to bed and everyone else should be sleeping as well. Jenny's even on her way to sleep because she knows that she has a very difficult and tiring morning ahead of her and it's officially the next morning it's also new year's which is pretty huge so let's just put up some decorations on the house why not to make it all cute and festive so oh that's looking so pretty anthony is also an early riser i feel like we knew that about him already no way that antonia woke up with another loose tooth how often is this gonna be happening but let's try to have everyone gather and have breakfast together, have a little chat, send Jenny off properly because she'll be going with David after breakfast. But I'm gonna have her also make a little New Year's resolution. I'm not really sure what exactly. Maybe, oh, I wish she could get promoted, but she needs to get a job. That should be her resolution. Raise a skill or something. Just work on improving herself to be better for David as well. And while we're at resolutions, I might as well have everyone make them because it's pretty fun to have that. So for Hazel, 
she has this get into a relationship pinned for the longest time already so i think that i should actually go for a get significant other look at everyone chatting it's just so sweet and precious and i think that these two are going for a little hug oh they are a tiny little goodbye hug and anthony is not really interested but since everyone did say goodbye to each other i think it's time to go so jenny and david will be moving into their own little household and when it comes to the money i'm not sure i can't remember how much max actually left her i think i'm gonna go with the standard 20k and hazel will most likely give her something as well so let's go with 30,000. that seems like a really really good amount of money to have her get started we'll be seeing them around quite a lot will of course be inviting them over all the time they just won't be living with hazel and her children anymore i'll also set her to be unplayed so she is totally free to do whatever she wants oh but look how uncomfortable antonia is mostly because of her tooth let's try to have you maybe wiggle that tooth so maybe that will make you feel a little bit better she's just so miserable so let's just see if that's gonna be doing anything for her i don't think that it did that much Oh, it's even worse now. Can I try to pull it? Is it is it too soon? She can wiggle it some more. So let's try doing that again. I did save just before this. So I think that we should be okay if I just have her pull out her tooth now. And if she changes, it's not a big deal. She's okay. She's fine. Andonia is so miserable though. She's really not having the best time today. She needs a lot of fun. Let's invite your friends then. I'm sure that Hazel wouldn't mind. It is a holiday after all. So you might as well hang out with your little friends. Oh, I'm Madison came over to play with her immediately and you invited Madison over the other day. I think these two are becoming a really really close friends which I absolutely love. Oh this is so cute. All the kids are dancing and Anthony decided to join them. I hope they don't mind because this is just so cute. Even Hazel is coming over to see because that's just so precious but Hazel you have other things to do. Something that I kind of want you to do. So I set up her dating profile and oh you can't search by similar personality. That is a bit of a shame because she's definitely definitely looking for something serious, something real. She does have kids in this entire situation. She wants them to be safe as well. That is her priority. So if you can't go by personality, I guess the closest would be relationship goals. So someone else who's looking for something serious. Oh, and you don't really have that many options. Oh no, you only have Jeb Harris. But Jeb is a really good looking Sam and I think that she might like him. So I think we could go with Jeb. Let me just look at his profile real quick. Oh, but his personality is not really that great. He's around and gloomy. He is good though, however. He is quite a bit younger and he's not educated or working, so that's a bit of a red flag. Oh, and he has children, but he doesn't want to have children. I don't think we'll go with Jeb, unfortunately. Oh no, I don't I don't think I want to go with Jeb then. No, she would not be risking this. But oh no, she can't even she can't even say no to him. Look at this. Look at this. I keep saying no. I think she has to say yes because I'm stuck now. Maybe maybe this will be a good thing. Maybe they will like each other, but this is not looking really good and I don't want her to casually date but I genuinely don't have other options. Well I could cancel it just now. There she goes to them. I'm sorry about that. Let's try again. Maybe instead of similar relationship goals she could go by similar age or similar wish about having children. That's really important so let's go with that and you also don't really have that many options. It's just Sydney. Also really young, not educated, not working, red flag all around. He has children and he would like to have children. That's good. He was never in a long-term relationship, but that's all right. Turn-offs though, parental material. Well, Hazel really tried, but it just did not happen. So I'm sorry, Hazel, but you'll spend your New Year's at home. But that means at least that Antonia can't have what I promised her in the last episode, actually. And she could throw herself a little social event. Never mind, children can't plan social events. So Hazel will be planning you a social event. She just needs to introduce herself to all of your friends first first and she'll be organizing this little slumber party for Antonia. So Antonia is going to be the official host of course and her guests will be all of her friends but I do need to prepare them their little slumber party area and here it is their own little sleepover area. I just put it here under the treehouse. I hope that everything is functional. I guess we'll see in a second. So Antonia you can go and maybe oh you can place a tooth under under the pillow and sleep that's so cute. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna send her to sleep with yet, but maybe Hazel could go and light this fire so they can hang out here together. Of course, supervised. But Anthony, while this slumber party is going on, you do need to be slumbering quite a bit. So let's send you to sleep instead of being a little 
nightmare here. I'm sure that Antonia is a little bit annoyed that you are crushing her little party. Oh, only toddlers can use this bed. Oops, I totally messed that up. Really? Toddler only sleeping beds? Oh, I need to change all of that. That is annoying. I really like the froggy one. It's so cute. I hate that I have to change it. But all right. Also, did I just say sleeping bed? I meant sleeping bag. What is a sleeping bed? It's, it's a bed that you sleep in. Yes, that is kind of the purpose, isn't it? I can only fit two of these under here. That is so annoying. Well, hopefully this new setup will work. I, I really hope so. Oh no, I might have messed up the sleeping bag situation because Antonia can actually ask them to set up their, their sleeping bags. Well, that is really going to be scattered everywhere around the house, which is really annoying. Oh, and we totally just missed New Year's. I'm just going to pretend like that didn't just happen. We're focusing on the sleepover. So, oh yeah, it's going to be just everywhere around the house. Oh, that is so annoying. Anyway, I moved the sleeping bags to their normal things. Everyone has their own assigned one. So hopefully that's going to work out okay. But I'm also having Hazel cook them a meal, even though she's in a bad mood. So I don't know if that's going to work out well, but she's supposed to be cooking with everyone. So they're all cooking their own dinner together, which is really, really cute. They're not very helpful, but they're trying. Okay, you can at least pretend that you're trying because this is just not looking that helpful. We need to be telling some stories before going to bed, tell stories in a sleeping bag. I'm really excited about that. Oh, and didn't we light this fire at some point for some reason? Let's just light that again. Wait, oh my gosh, two of them aged up into teenagers. Kelsey and Dylan just aged up into teenagers right before my eyes. I mean, I missed it, so it's not really before my eyes, but it just happened. Oh my gosh, why are you teenagers now? You totally ruined the vibe of this. Everyone is hanging out around the fire and Antonia will also be telling everyone a story. So the sleepover is going quite well, despite some <laughs> obvious sleeping bug difficulties at the start, but it's actually so fun. I really, really like it. It is 4 a.m. So let's just ignore that. So it's not really going to be a sleepover if no one sleeps. These are having a pillow fight though. That's so cute. I love it. Let's try one more time with trying to tell a story because I think that Antonia got a little shy, so she canceled it. Oh yeah, everyone's coming over to listen. Please, random teenager, don't pee yourself on the sleeping bags. But let's just send you to sleep after this because this is getting kind of ridiculous. I thought that people would be sleeping, but they're just really, really not. I really do love this little area though. It is so cute for a sleepover. It looks like a dream. Like under the tree house as well. It's like so perfect. Oh, someone did actually pee themselves here. Ew. Well, Antonia did just wake up. So I think I will just end the sleepover. No one really slept. So I don't know if I'm allowed to call it that, but let's just end the gathering. She earned an award. So let's see what that is. Oh, did you get just more sleeping bags? That's a little lame, but I'll, I'll take it. It's kind of cute. And with that, I think I will just stop it here. So if you want to see if Hazel, let's just creep on her through the window. But if you want to see if she manages to date anyone in the next episode, if she'll have a bit more luck, you can do that by clicking the next episode right here. And if the next episode is not out yet, here is something to watch while you wait. See you there.